to get underway with the first ever street course race in NASCAR. Green flag is in the air. Cole Custer jumps out to a big lead as he goes down the front stretch into turn one. Here they come, first time into turn number one. That's the 90 degree left-hander, Cole Custer with the lead. John Hunter even check to second. You've got Austin Hill in third. Everybody minding their manners, minding their P's and Q's. They exit the right-hander two, and head to Dale Jr. in three, four, and five. Down this long back straight away, about 140 miles an hour before they're gonna break for turn four. They practice this this morning. They understand the speed, but can they do it in a pack? Single file so far. Nobody really looking at it, trying to make passes here. Couple cars now back in the pack going side by side, but right now everybody getting through a very tight part of the racetrack in one piece. Clean and green so far, but now a hard breaking zone coming into six. And again, Custer away with the lead. Everybody single file, everybody hard on the brakes, and everybody minding their manners as they race to 7th and Michigan Avenue. Great job by these drivers. A completely new restart. It spread the field out, and now they're just learning. Now they're saying, hey, this is a long race. We know how many incidents have happened in practice. Let's be smart. Let's learn what my car does well and what it does poorly. And then I will take the attack and the fight to the guy in front of it for the first lap. Let's make sure I got this car underneath me. Over the bridge and into turn 12 for the final time. He led the field to the green flag and also looks as though he's going to lead lap number one. Cole Custer out in front. Chased by John Hunter Nemechek. An early pit stop for the 44. Sage Karam has made his way onto pit road and it looks like the right front damage already. Great overhead shot of these leaders coming off the end of the front straightaway. That 90 degree left hander into one. And while the leaders may be tiptoeing away for first and second, what a good battle now with Connor Mosak running in fourth. All guy are in fifth. You got Hemrick in sixth. That's a good pocket of traffic exiting turn two. Mozak was looking back on Allgaier and a lot of smoke out of Justin Marks and the 10. That looks like a mechanical issue. It doesn't look like tire smoke. It's out both front tires. The yellow is now out. Oh, and he gets spun around in the middle. I believe that's turn 11 right under your feet, Jeff. Yeah, I think there must be oil on the racetrack right behind him. I cannot see it. Caution is out. Kim, what do you know? He came on the radio and said the motor just blew up. So. Very devastating for a driver that we had pegged to do very well in this course. Again, he came on the radio to confirm to his team. It just feels like the motor blew up. Yeah, I can't. Cole Custer, John Hunter Nemechek, one and two as they come through 12 and back onto the front stretch. Again, that double zero. Cole Custer looking strong, but here comes Nemechek on his outside. That purple number 20 and John Hunter Nemechek is trying to get back to Custer. He's going to go wide in one. Now he's going to cut to the inside and he's going to be chopped off. Cole Custer's blocking all advances now into two. John Hunter Nemechek is ready to dance as he heads down to uh, Lakeshore Drive. Battle back there with Connor Mozak to the inside. Looks like that's going to get settled with Algar taking the position in fourth down in the breaking zone here of turn four. Everybody buries it down into that corner. Really fast corner, but very narrow. Final lap of stage one about to happen on an oval. There would be a green and white checkered flag and then a yellow flag where they would stop in the top 10 would earn stage points. As a matter of fact, the stage winner would get a playoff point which they could take to the playoffs with them. Keep filling that bucket up here because of strategy. Steve, they don't stop anymore. The caution doesn't come out. They continue to race. Yeah, the crew chief's really manipulated knowing exactly when the yellows would come out. And it took away all the strategy, all the opportunity to do something different. So as you see the top 10, Brent Moffitt in six, Sammy Smith seventh, Daniel Hemrick eighth, Parker Kligerman in ninth, and Chandler Smith in 10th. Chandler Smith will be the last car that scores points, just the top 10. But I do think this is a little bit better. It gives the crew chiefs more options. Cole Custer. Win stage one, Nemechek in stage or second place gets nine points. There you see the points in the breakdown of stage one. You can see right there through turns one and two, that seemed to be where they were gaining on Hemrick down here in turn four. We got a car hard in the tire barrier right here, the 34 car, Castro. Andre Castro into the tire barriers. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the show, this is his very first ever Xfinity Series race and he's just kind of coming to the screen right here just going straight tires locked up. 
I don't know if he had a mechanical issue. Not sure if. I mean, he's obviously completely out of control. Still, in, I don't know what could put him in this position. Oof. Oh, Fast. my goodness. And looking at that speed, I would say something definitely happened at the lift point or under braking. What great work by that tire barrier to absorb that impact. Four, five. Cole Custer, hard on the gas. John Hunter Nemechek on the outside as well. Cole Custer has really used that right side for the restart zone and his advantage. And once again, but here's our first real contest we've seen for the second position. All guy on the right. Gets run a little wide. Nemechek clear for second. Fight for third now. There's Allgaier on the inside. And Austin Hill on his outside. Very tight as they come up through two. It instantly feels different as we close in on halfway. The drivers are not acting like they were in the first stage or the first start. They know this could be it. We could be very close to green flag pit stop. So, oh man, so tight in contact into turn four. Connor Bozak might have got into the back of Austin Hill there. Down Columbus Drive again, heading for turn six. And so that is why you're seeing a little bit closer to ground level vantage points. Yeah, so I have to, oh, caution. We have a caution on the racetrack. And NASCAR is telling us that that caution is for lightning. And so that will be a 30 minute delay. And in a very tumultuous spot in the race with 31 laps to go. So this will bring everybody into their fuel window and also give everybody to catch their breath, figure out what they need different. Practice this morning was very broken up, started on wet, switched to dried tires, that, mm -hmm. that is. And the red flag now has been displayed. So the drivers will climb out and they can cover the cars, just can't do any kind of adjustments or work on the cars under a red flag condition. There is the winner of the Xfinity Series race from the streets of Chicago. All smiles for Cole Custer and has been determined that they will not go back to racing here on the streets for the Xfinity Series. The NASCAR statement said the decision was made in the interest of safety for our fans and competitors in coordination with the city of Chicago's protocols for festival events. The safety of our fans is always paramount and we will continue to adhere to city protocols for public safety for Sunday's event. So you see the unofficial results going across the screen, but Cole Custer, that's his 12th career win in the Xfinity Series, and he is the first winner on a street course for NASCAR in the Xfinity Series. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.